So my man, Jared Manley, I got to tell you, we were talking on a couple of things. You're part of my eight week boot camp. Um, and not only that, you are also a part of my team here at Success Mortgage Partners. And you were saying something that I was like, man, we got to just jump on a quick podcast and talk about this because um, last week you put five loans in the pipeline for $1.4 million. And I asked you, I said, what do you think is probably the thing that's making the, because that was just last week. So we're not talking about like just last week, five loans, 1.4 million. And I thought, man, we got to just talk about it. Because when I asked you, what do you think is making the biggest difference? What'd you say? Uh, consistency, making the calls, uh, the communication with the agents and uh, customers. And the, on the Thursday, pre-approved and looking calls, I, yeah. I've been adding in the agents and the customers. And you're tracking the, one video thing. Tips. Yeah. And tracking one thing. Yeah. One thing. And that's the uh, call to action. Dude. Well, when you said that, like you're doing the work, you're going to call stars, you're showing up, you're making the calls. And you literally were telling me the number one thing on top of all of those things that are happening and you're doing was you were tracking, asking for the business. Yeah. hundred percent. Tell me, tell yeah, me about that's... that, man. Cause well, that's why we got to jump on. I'm like, dude, what an aha. So it's outbound calls, talk to outbound calls, talk out, uh, outbound calls and video. I do count both of those as one, but I only kind of talk to it if if I call them on the phone. Um, outbound calls, videos, talk tos, appointments set, appointments kept, number of leads, credit pools, and initial apps, and then three by three, yes, three by three, no. Dude, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Three. So so talk about this because this has been a pretty big aha for you. Oh, for sure. Uh, it, when we started the boot camp, the you asked us the question of what I wanted to come out of this with, and yeah. I wanted I wanted to close. I wanted to consistently learn how to and execute on closing at the end of the conversation. And that that's I was great until that, but I, I just was not closing for commitment, and uh, I just started. I'm, I'm going to add two more things onto the tracker. Yes or no, you either do it or you don't. And as soon as I put that on there, it was it, it making sure that I'm doing it. I mean, I, it, yeah. And if I don't get it done, that, that one's a three by three. No. And then I highlight it. <laughs> I got to stare at it the entire time. I'm looking at my list. So there've been a couple of times when I've gone back in after not executing on a phone call three by three and sent a video text with the three by three on it just so that I can, I can add it on there, but I still got the nose cause I didn't. Yeah. Hey, so talk, talk about this. So you recognize coming in, Hey, you cause you're, you're, you do a lot of activity. You've been, I mean, you're very, very faithful to call stars, very faithful to making the calls, having the conversations. And, you know, I love being a student of the business cause you just listed out the six things to track, which is outbound calls, talk to's appointments set appointments kept, uh, the number of leads and number of credit pools, which talks about them taking a step into your process. And then what you added was a three by three. Am I asking for the business? Yes or no. Um, tell me about that. Like what did you get it? Do you get it right every time? Did you get it right? What was your process to get more diligent? I think a couple of weeks ago, you told me, Hey, I'm finally at 80, 85% of the time so I asked for the business. Yeah. So tell, tell me about the progression. Cause you walked in, you recognize this is a huge gap. We fill this gap. I can make more, put more loans in the pipeline. How did you, how did you work through that? Uh, I, I just did it when I was bad at it and just kept doing it I yeah. mean, over and over. The, the, the more, the more I did it, the easier it got and, and the less nervous I was. I think that's a big key to it. Um, it's just, it's just not being afraid because they're just people on the other end of the line. And so they're just yeah. people just like us. Yeah. Hey, so talk about that. Was it easy the first time? No. Oh, no, no, no. It was because it, it's something that I was afraid of doing. So mm -hmm. the anxiety was was heightened. Um, but then I just I just did it, even though I was afraid and then just kept doing it. And hey, so what's it's, the that, it's that yes and no thing, man, that yes and no. Having to look at a no and stare at it for two hours on the same list right here. I mean, nah, nah, I'm, I'm not I'm not about that. So I, I've gotten to the point. On, on a couple of calls where I was like, eh, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Wait, wait, wait. 
and I, I just I don't I don't want to let the opportunity pass. And, and it's uh, you know, you, you don't know if you don't ask. And if you don't ask 100 percent of the time, you're, you're going to miss opportunities. Yeah. Um, so somebody says, I recognize just in this quick little podcast episode that we're talking about, I may not be asking for the business on every call. Talk to them about that. It's easy to do. Um, it, it's easy to just say, well, I just talked to him the other day. I just, I just did this. I just did that. It, just stay consistent and, and keep to the script. Don't add anything to the script. Just use the yeah. script. Who are you working with today that I can get pre-approved for you? Make sure it's good use of your time. And, and don't add anything. Don't take anything off of the script. Yeah. Just stick to the simple script. Well, and you, you know, one thing I'll tell you, Jared, the, there's such a profound, we we've got, you know, I, I, I remember it was about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, whenever I called Carl and I'm like, Carl, out of the hundreds of scripts, there's only nine foundation scripts that literally you get these nine scripts nailed down. You have an airtight business. Cause you, you think, well, I got to have all of this and this and this. And really there's not that many, there's only a handful of scripts that if like when you're talking to a listing agent, that's not qualified, or you're talking to an agent that is qualified, or you're talking to a client, um, you know, whoever you're talking to, every one of them has a very simple call to action. And when you realize it's not that many, just a couple, um, you begin to realize, okay, well, that's half the battle. I didn't know what to say. Now I know to say it. And the next is recognizing, could I close more? If I would simply ask before getting off the phone. And when you answer that, the answer is yes, clearly it's working. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely. You just, you got to keep doing it and you, it yeah. just, it gets easier. It yeah. Does. Well, and we talk about that too, do the uncomfortable until it becomes comfortable. And that's what I've watched you do. You, you were already making calls and then it was really uncomfortable in the beginning. And then you're like, you know what? It's just what I do. You know, it kind of goes back to that, that saying, uh, when my mind and my, my body say, no, I tell myself, oh, it's just what I do. <laughs> it's just yeah. what we do. We just ask and for you, the business. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and you got to do it well, and you're afraid and just, just keep doing it and you won't be, you know, you won't be afraid for very long. I'll tell you that. That's, that's for, that's for sure. Hey, what's one, the worst thing that's happened to you? Me. What's that? What's the worst thing that's happened to you from asking for the business? Like anybody hang up on you, holler at you? <laughs> I think maybe a couple people have hung up on me. No, yeah. Nothing, nothing major. I mean, yeah. no, they're just people. Yeah. They're just people. I, I got it worked up here more than I ever got on the other end of the phone ever. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's just be yourself. Don't try to be somebody you're not. Don't try to talk about something you don't know anything about. And um, just be honest, be, wow. be real. Yeah. That's good advice, man. Good advice. Well, Jared, I'll tell you this, brother. It's It's been a pleasure to link arms with you and just to yes, watch sir. your progression and what you're doing and uh, leaning in, man. You're, you're a true leader and you're an inspiration to so many people. And I know like even in our Call Stars community, um, you know, I just hear so many good things. Um, I just appreciate your leadership. Thank you for sharing this. I know it's really simple, yeah. but I'll tell you, um, it's profound, you know, in the boot camps that I've got running right now, the homework this week is everybody tracking their outbound calls, talk tos, and number of times they ask for the business with everybody they talk to. And I'll tell you that when you start to realize, wow, I'm not asking as much as I thought I was, or there's more opportunity, it's free money on the table. You're already on the phone. You're already yeah. in the conversation. And I think it's exactly what you said. We begin we get in our own head and it's like weird for us, but it's not weird for other people. You take good care of people and somebody were to say, Hey, do you know anybody else who needs insert in their service? Of course you took great care of me. I'll be happy to refer, but we yeah. think it's weird when it's us, you know, it's like, right. And you're training your agents too. They're going to know yeah. that every time you're talking to somebody, you're, you're asking for the business. So why would they be any different? And it, it's yeah. the same thing. Like my agents have started to learn. Don't call between eight 30 and 10 30. Call yeah. it eight. Call yeah. him after 10 30, but he, he's not going to answer in between. You'll be in times. call stars. Yeah. It's, yeah. 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 I, I let him know. I'm like, it's morning sales calls. I'm, I'm not available from here to here. Outside of that, we can, we can, we can work around something. Yeah. I love so. it. Hey, well, listen, is uh, any final advice you'd give closing thoughts? Uh, trust the process, uh, do the work mm. and uh, 
just believe in yourself. Yeah, if I love believe, it, brother. Believe that you can do it. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. Hey, and if you are listening to this podcast and really, you know, you, I, I love Jared's story because it's a story of finding one or two things in your business that if you tweak it, you'd see big results. You know, I'm, I'm reminded of that book, um, Good to Great, Jim Collins wrote a long time ago. And so many times we think in our business, man, I've got to make these massive leaps and it's all of these big things that'll make a big difference. And really one tweak one tweak of learning a handful of scripts at the right time at the right place would make such a big impact in your business. And, um, you know, I want to invite you if you'd like to know more about the eight week boot camp and what we're doing to help loan officers and branch managers like Jared um, continue to close even more business and, and, and really like with Jared, even more of the business he's already got. It was about conversion and converting more. Uh, go to loanofficersuccess.com, loanofficersuccess.com. Fill out a couple of pieces of information, um, and I'll call you, walk you through it, see if it's a good fit for you. Uh, there's only a handful of spots um, that we do in the boot camp. We keep it in very small groups uh, for the coaching side of it. But, man, I'm so encouraged. Make sure that you're doing this, tracking the number of outbound calls, talk tos, and how many times you're asking for the business. It's definitely a truth serum, and it'll tell you, are your calls effective because they got a real call to action or not? And if not, we can fix it, and oftentimes the smallest tweaks make the biggest difference. Uh, go to loanofficersuccess.com. Would love to be a part of your story and link arms with you. And thank you for being a part of this podcast. Hey, listen. If you get a chance, uh, give us a review. Go somewhere, wherever you uh, download this podcast. Give us a review. Tell us uh, how it's making a positive impact in you and your business. I would love that. That's always super helpful for us. So hope you have, um, man, just keep crushing it, and we'll see you on the inside. See you.